Uh oh, she's broke. She's broke, Will. This is the Ego Z6 ride-on mower. Yes, the most revolutionary ride-on mower to the market today because it's battery powered. It's amazing, we love it. We're gonna do three things with this mower. The first thing is we are going to convert it to remote control. Oh yeah, you are going to sit on it. Just stand here and drive it around the garden. I know that's so exciting. The second thing we are going to do, we're gonna make it even more useful because at the moment it cuts grass. You know, you could put a little trailer on behind or something, but now we're gonna make it even more useful than that. And the third video, we are gonna get someone from another country to drive this mower without even being in the country. How is that even possible? I don't know how to do that yet. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, watch all these videos. We love all this stuff, but this is so cool, we love it. These two things here go forwards and backwards. So if you pull them the other way, that's what makes you turn. So I thought, well, okay, let's use what is already there because inside here, there's already a potentiometer in under there, which is what tells the motors and everything which way to go. So I thought, well, let's utilize that. Underneath, there is a gas strut, and that's what creates the resistance on your arms so that you're not too jerky. It makes it nice and smooth. I thought, right, take that out and replace it with a linear actuator. I thought, yeah, they just push and pull. Brilliant, that's what I need. But with this, it's got a neutral setting. And we need to find out where that neutral setting is because a normal actuator would go from there to there and back again. Great, but we need it to sit in the middle because we don't want it going either forwards or backwards. We need it to stop as well. So replace the gas strut with a position feedback linear actuator, which has got five cables coming out of it rather than two or three. So then that will be under here and that will then, when it goes out, it goes forwards. When it comes back, it goes backwards and then it will automatically sit in the middle. Could have done it with servo motors, but I thought this is a bit more fun, a bit more cool. Now work out how to connect them to the remote. I feel a bit of a build montage coming on, so let's crack on with it. the controller connected to the receiver, connected to two lack boards, connected to two linear actuators. Fingers crossed, it's all working. I've got these all moving how they should be and stopping where they should be, so I'm really quite pleased with that. I've taken the wheels off because, well, we didn't want to, you know, suddenly shoot off the bench. But to be quite honest, this has been more complicated than Norman's relationship status. It is not very easy. It has not been, it's been a proper brain scratcher. Let's <laughs> power up and make it work. Ah, power on, hold down the green button. We've got power, ooh, lights. Ooh. Pull one handle out. Unless you've got to pull both of them out, only one. And then back in, so it's important we still have that function. There we go, that is on. <laughs> Fingers crossed bit. This lever here powers that one, and this lever powers that one. So if we push this one forwards, hopefully that turns. And, Ah, help if I turn the controller on. I'll turn the controller on as well. Yeah, so now we should push that forward and off we go. <laughs> it's working. Right, on. stop. Let go, it should go back and stop. It's done exactly that. Right, backwards. Slowly, but it's going backwards. <laughs> Let's speed it up. Go. It'll take off like a plane. Quick, let's get the other one moving as well. Both are going. <laughs> and let go. <laughs> it works. 
I'm now going to make up a nice little 3D printed box. We'll put all the gubbins here. I've got to pull power through from the batteries at the back so we can get rid of the extra batteries I've got here. And then I think it's time to cut some grass. Here she is, RC fans. Yes, we have converted an Ego Z6 into RC and keeping it as original as we possibly can. We have kept all the original controls and just literally built a kit to be able to convert it to RC. We are going to test it. Right, let's cut some grass. I've had a bit of a play already, I will be honest, and yet I crashed it. I crashed it into a shipping container. Oh well, you know, every day's a school day. Right, let's cut some grass. So it's ready to turn it on. Oh yes it is, on, on. <laughs> We're gonna engage the blades. We've never engaged the blades before on this mower ever. So, you know, you're sharing this with me. And we go. It works. I'm not even sat on it. Okay, now it feels a little dangerous. Anyway, we got it in slow mode because, well, you know, we don't wanna get too carried away to start with. And now we're gonna cut. Oh yeah, there she goes. <laughs> Can I keep in a straight line? No, can't even keep a normal mower in a straight line. <laughs> Let's do circles. Let's do circles. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can. We can do circles. Can we do true zero turn? Nearly. Hang on. True zero turn, James. Yeah, there we go. There's true zero turn. Look at that! <laughs> and we're away again. Now we're cutting the grass. I put the height down. But if you've seen our other video when we reviewed one of these, you'll know how much I love it. It's amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Go around the tree. This is not going to go so well, is it? Ah, no. Oh, now I'm stuck. Hang on, let's just go backwards. Yeah, see, I'll get the hang of this in a minute. It's working. Give me a couple of weeks, I'll probably be an expert at driving RC stuff. Can we go back up that same line, do you reckon? Same straight line. You went to a straight line. <laughs> oh, whoa, Betsy, whoa. So you get a little bit carried away of yourself. All right, and then reset. And stop before the hedge. Spin round without crashing. All right. Oh, why is it beeping at me? Ah, it wants me to put more batteries in. So yesterday, someone forgot to charge the batteries and thought we could get away with what was in them. Obviously not. So here we are today, yes, back on the lawn, doing some more mowing with it, with 100% battery. This is why I pretend that it's not actually me using a controller, it's just someone else who can actually drive RC stuff. Do we need to make it go faster? Control mode, so it's at the slowest possible setting. Let's up the blade speed. Wop, wop, wop. <laughs> so I'm struggling with a bit of like oversteer and understeer, you know? That's because you've got to wait for the actuator to sort of reset itself each time. But you wouldn't get on a servo motor, admittedly, or like just a speed control on the motor. No, just decided to have a moment. Oh no, it's reset itself. Okay. It's all right, no fear, James. I've got fail safes worked into this so that if something does happen, it just starts going backwards because I thought that would be safer than going forwards. Are you bored of mowing the lawn? Well, you need to do this to your lawnmower. Ah, uh, wrong button. There we go. Coming up for that bit. Spinning around there a bit. Go back. Yeah, see, now we got it. That's fine. Go forwards. One day I'll work out how to drive something RC. I've turned the blades off and put it in travel mode. Yes, it's fast as possible speed it can go. We might even pop a wheelie. 
Let's do the speed test. It's not going to go quite so well, Will. <laughs> you know, James just pushes it that little bit too far and something quite doesn't go to plan. Well, that did not go to plan. Um, right, we'll do a take two. Ready? Yeah. Here she comes. Fast mode, go. <laughs> uh oh, she's broke, she's broke, Will. She's broke. I need to make that better. My 3D printed bits aren't quite strong enough. Right, so we've converted it to RC, but we haven't completed our speed test because we need to make better actuator joiners, which I'm going to make out of metal rather than being 3D printed. I also need your ideas because we've got all this space here where I used to sit and my legs used to go, and we need to do something with it to make this even more useful. So please let us know your ideas in the comments. We might even use your idea. Please like, share and subscribe and make sure you're staying tuned for the next one.